Hello everyone and welcome by a new Pokemon video by a new Pokefit and today I'm going to rank all the Gen 4 Pokemon because it is only two weeks from now that um, Pokemon Shining Pearl and Brilliant Diamond will come out and um, yeah I will uh, give my opinion on those which I think they are also I will have uh, see here you will see that the title that I put Gen 1 in my name because people for some reason want to call me a young runner or youtubers want because uh, I dislike garbage, turbage and the phonetic slime and probably if you dislike them you probably you in a young runner for one of another reason in the eyes and Gen 1 is still my favorite so therefore I'm using the name Gen runner although I don't think I'm really that much of a Gen runner and I actually a Gen 4 Pokemon that I like which we will see in the list we have uh, Go from the top to bottom, we have red is the best, orange is great, and uh, forgive me for the noise loud outside, yellow is good, green is okay, light blue is forgettable, dark blue is bad, and purple is trash. So let's start off with the very first Pokemon then and actually third week I really like. Do I think it's great? I probably yeah, I probably think so actually. So third week will and will be into great and actually I actually think all of this the, the whole line is great so Cordon and Torterra I really like the concept of Torterra so they all belong in the in the great list for me Shimshar yeah it might it might sound a bit odd but Shimshar um yeah I don't know I think in my eyes Shimshar is cute but in my eyes it is a bit too cute so yeah it is, I don't think it's bad or trash I also don't think it's for cannibal, so for me, I, yeah, I think the it belongs to uh, it belongs in okay if I if I'm honest, because yeah, the main issue as I have it that it is not good or great is that it in my eyes it is a little bit too cute. Then we have Morferno. Morferno is great, uh, great. Or um, Morferno is Morferno is great, and the same goes for in uh, goes for Inferno. But it's actually my favorite firefighting starter over Blaziken, so. Uh, I will put uh, them into great as well. I actually like all of the starters of Gen 4 because this is actually my favorite line because I'm a huge fan of penguins and I think it is really clever that they made because uh, uh, well let's talk about it in a second. So Piplup is just a very cute penguin so for me it is easily one of the best Pokemon. Um, the same yeah everyone says it is, it is an ugly Pokemon but I, I I disagree because I don't see what is ugly about Pimplup. So for me, it is also one of the best Pokemon Kevrick made. For me, it still looks like a penguin, and I don't see what this what is ugly or or weird about it. I also really like Empoleon, which is, I think is also one of the best because it is based on a Kaiser penguin, and it is all and it is also dressed like a Kaiser. So I think that the concept is really neat. So yeah, it also it also belongs. Uh, and in one of the best Pokemon category category for me. So that's these are the starters out of the way. And well, apart from Shimshaw is an okay, all of them are great or the best so far. So that is really interesting. Uh, so we have Starly, I think. Or Star Weaver. No, Star Weaver is the second one. Starly is well you know what I Yeah, I I think Star Starly is okay. I don't have any hard hard feelings about it, but I it's not one of my favorites either, so I guess Starry is, is just an okay Pokemon. Uh, and I think the same goes for Star Starvivia and Star Raptor. I know many people like Star Raptor, but for me, yeah, it's just kind of, kind of, kind of okay. I don't hate it, but I also don't really like it as much. It's probably because of that I grew up with Gen 1 that I like the Pixie line most. But for, yeah, for me, that is just iconic, but I don't hate the Star. Starry line, so uh, for me they are just okay. Um, then we have Bidoof, and Bidoof. Well, actually, actually, I'm one of the few people I think who al already liked Bidoof before it was a meme. And yeah, I also like how how Derp always like how Derp you look. So for me, Bidoof is also a great a great Pokemon. Uh, and I must say, I must say, I think I like. By B or equally, even though many people don't, but I think I do. So, by B is also a great Pokemon for me. 
Uh, so then we have Quicket Tot. Hmm. Well, thanks of his illusion, Quicket Tot. I don't think it is really forgettable, but this is not really one of my favorites either. So it is okay. Um, and I think I will think I will put Quicket Tot in good or just be because of the the awesome quiet maze. I think the most awesome quiet. And also quite in the whole of Pokemon, so we can do the self spot into into the good list. And then we have Shinx. So this one, uh, this one is is really easy for me. Shinx, the whole Shinx line are just great Pokemon. Uh. Actually, Gen 4 is doing is doing is is doing very good at this point because uh, no one has entered into a forgettable battle twice once. I, I promise there will also be Pokemon will who will end up who will, who will end up there, but for now. Yeah, I I like all of them. Well, almost all of them. Some are all okay, but I don't hate them. Otherwise, they wouldn't be an okay. Uh, Boodoof. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know about Boodoof. I, I guess Boodoof is also is also okay. I don't have any hard feelings about it, but I, it's not one of my favorite either. Uh, then we have Roserweight, which is also kind of okay. Then we have Karanidos and Rampardos, these are great Pokemon to be honest, they look they really look like ancient dinosaurs and I think they are supposed to look like that. So yeah, I well, guess dinosaurs are always ancient, but I think these Pokemon are great as well, so already we have a lot of Pokemon into the great section. And then we have Shieldon and Bastion. I think I like Shieldon a little bit more as Bastion, I think Shieldon is good, but Bastion I don't... Yeah, I don't know, I think Bastion is okay, I, it's one of the Pokemon that I don't have hard feelings for, but I also not really much... I'm not really much of a fan of it either, I like Shieldon a bit a little bit better, so that is why it isn't good. And then we have the whole, whole Burmy and Worm on that line, and... Actually, it, yeah, it happened, when I was actually making the list of... Most hated Pokemon, I actually want to include Bormy and Wormadan, but yeah, I forgot them, so they're kind of forgettable for me. So to so to make things clear, I don't hate them as much as other people do. Actually I don't hate them at all. But I also I also don't have any real yeah, any strong feelings for it. So if they weren't there, I probably wouldn't remember them. So for me these are, these are kind of forgettable, so, um, so the whole Burmy Warmer than that, yeah, for me it's just forgettable. Uh, and then we have Motem, Motem is actually, well, is, um, well actually I kind of like Motem, so Motem is, Motem is a good Pokemon I feel like. And then we have Combi, and I, I actually like how they turned a bee into an, in a, into an honeycomb, I actually think that is pretty clever, so for me whole, Combi is actually quite good, and the same for Fast I actually kind of like it. Then we have Pasha Riju, and yeah, I don't know, it is Pikachu clone, so, but yeah, that's not, yeah, it, I, I don't know, I don't hate it, so I guess, I guess it ends up in okay, yeah. Then we have Blue Zone and Float Soul, we'll have the same feelings about that as Power I don't hate them, but I don't really like them either. So they are also okay Pokemon. Uh, then we have um, Shaobi, Sh or I like this one. It's actually quite a cute, 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 uh, cute sh Shaobi Pokemon. So, so yeah, I, for me, it is an okay Pokemon, uh, or a good Pokemon. I feel like I actually kind of like that Pokemon. Uh. Uh, then we have Sharon, uh, Sharon into the shade form. I don't, don't know. I'm I'm not a much I'm not a much fan of the shade form to be honest. I don't think it is nice. I, and I understand the concept, but I'm not a huge fan about it. So that is the first Pokemon who ends up in bad, not in trash, just in bad. Uh, but Sharon Shiny form I actually really like. I like how it how it dances, how happy it is. So yeah, Sharon, Sharon Shiny form is a good Pokemon. Uh. Then we have Shellas, and for some reason we only have the East Sea line, I think. Um, 
Yeah, but actually, I actually like both of these lines equally. That I would also put the blue ones in good, so nothing really happen, nothing really shocking there. So both of them and 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 in good. And then with AB Palm, yeah, I don't know with these two hands. I think I like AB Palm itself a little bit better, but yeah, AB Palm is not is not bad. So this for me it is another okay Pokemon. Huh? Then we have Twift Blammer, the Flume also always confuses these names. But I actually, yeah, they, these are object Pokemon, I think, but I actually kind of like these, so I put both of them, in, both of them into goods. Then we have Burnary, and yeah, Burnary, Burnary is just great because how cute it is. This, I feel like it is. I feel like it's maybe that just as cute as Shimsha, but yeah, Shimsha with a start and shouldn't be that uh, shouldn't be that cute. I feel like Burnery is just one early wood Pokemon, so wood Pokemon, so I don't so I don't mind it being that cute. So for me, so Burnery actually um, deserves the great satisfaction. But then we have Low Pony, and a Low Pony is. Is fluffy, but it is not really cute, so I don't know. For I feel like Low Pony is just okay. And Low Pony is Mega Low Pony. I guess it's a little. Yeah, I don't know. Well, actually, I, somewhere I like it, but somewhere also don't like it. So I guess it is also an okay Pokemon. Eh? Then we have Miss Megius, and Miss Megius. Well, Miss Megius is kind of fun, I guess. So Miss Megius is is good. Honscrow is actually one of the better gen for evolution, so I will put Honscrow into the good section as well. And then we have Glimio. Um, Glimio, actually, I actually like how it still is, is uh, shaped like, the, like a spring. So for me, Glimio is also a um, Glimio is also a good Pokemon. I feel like. Uh, then we have Pearl Ugly, and yeah, yeah. Well, it is ugly. But the name is Kakashi's, and I don't even think it is the most ugly Pokemon they ever made. So yeah, for me, I feel like yeah, it does a great job pulling it off. So I, I guess Pearl Ugly is also good. First, I didn't really like it, but I actually understand the concept more and more, and actually it kind of makes sense. So it is good. And Chingling, well, I know it is a bell with kind of two scarves. I feel like, and I don't know why, but I really like this one. So. For me, it is a great Pokemon. I don't know why I like it so much, but I do like it. I understand why people think we don't need that many baby Pokemon, but for some reason, I really like Jingling. Eh? Um, then we have Stonky, and Stonky is kind of well. Um, actually, to be honest, I didn't think about it, so I guess Stonky Stonk can't. Yeah, I don't hate it because it isn't forgettable. If I forget about it, it's actually the same feeling as okay. I just forget about them, which I. Usually do not do not about the okay Pokemon. Eh? So for me these are kind both are kind of forgettable to me if I if I'm honest. Then we have Bronzor. Bronzor is uh, that is another object Pokemon, but I guess it is okay. I feel like these kind of objects from the earlier generations make a bit more sense than the later generations. I'm sorry if I sound like a Gen 1 or now, but yeah, I do feel like that because once or I don't have hard feelings about once or up once, but it's not one. They are not one of my favorite Pokémon, so they are just okay Pokémon. And then we have Bonsly. Well, Bonsly is kind of cute, but I don't know. I think I like Sudowood more, and also, yeah, and we don't, we didn't really need many baby Pokémon, so Bonsly is just okay. Then we have my Junior. Which I guess is better than Mr. Mime, but we don't need didn't need any of these baby Pokemon. So for me, yeah, it is let's be honest, it is just a bad Pokemon. We didn't Mr. Didn't, didn't need Mr. Mime, so so we didn't need a Mime Junior either. Uh, then we have Happini. Well, Happini is cute, but again, I don't think we really needed this baby Pokemon. I think Shancy was good enough. I feel like Happini is a little too small. I feel like I don't know. I'm I'm not a fan of Happini, so it is also. I also put that one into the into the bad section. Then we have Shattered, and I know many many people hate Shattered, but I really like it. Maybe it's because I played that mystery dungeon game, but 
like I really like Shadow for acting Shadow and also with the music mode, I think that is really clever and it is very colorful, so I really like Shadow and I think it is a great Pokemon to be honest. Then we have Spiritomb and Spiritomb, yeah, this Spiritomb is kind of interesting. I guess I guess it is a good Pokemon, so I will put it into goods. And then we have uh, Gibble, and I feel like, yeah, well, this whole Gibble line is, I think, even Mega Garchomp. Yeah, I think this whole line, this whole line is actually pretty great. So, I re I really like this line. I'm really, fan, I'm really a fan of this line. I think that uh, the that is really good. Then we have Munchlax. And I think, yeah, well, I really like Snorlax, and I think I really like Munchlax either. I know, I know, I said we don't didn't need that many big Pokémon, but for Snorlax and Munchlax, I think, yeah, I think for Snorlax it actually kind of makes sense that that there was a downgrade. So, not as, uh, which I don't think it was fair to for Mr. Mimer, uh, Shanshi. So, but for more than Snorlax, I could see why, and I really like how Munchlax was made. So, Munchlax is also a great Pokémon. I feel like. Uh, and then the whole uh, Riolo Lucario line is also is also pretty great. I think I even put Mega Lucario into the best section because that is really how a, how a Mega Pokemon should look like. I think it is indeed one of the best. And I'm sorry for the noise outside again. They're all really busy today. Uh, So yeah, I think it yeah I think it is one or, or maybe one even even the best mega Pokemon they ever made. So I put that one into the best section as well. And then we have Hippopotas, and I really love Hippopotas. I don't know why, but just looking at it makes me makes me smile so much that I think it is one of the best Pokemon they have that Game Freak ever created. I like Hippodon too, but not as much as. Uh, Hippopotas, so I put that into into the great section, and then we have Scorpy, Scorpy, Scorpion, another Pokemon which I don't really care about that much, but I also don't dislike them, so they're also okay Pokemon. And uh, then we have Quotion and to Toxic Rock, which I also think are just okay. There are a lot of Pokemon that I think okay. I think I feel like the same about Carnivine. It's also a Pokemon which I don't really like, but also don't really dislike. So it is also an okay Pokemon. And then Finian Numenium, which many people seem seem seem, uh, seem to forget, but I actually, to be honest, I have never forget these Pokemon. Uh, and was I think it is probably because I actually really like them. I don't know why, but I actually really like these Pokemon. So for me, they are both. Both end up into the good section. Uh, then we have Mantic. Well, I, 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 it is cute, but on the other hand, I don't think Mantic needed a death evolution, evolution either, if that is worth. So, I guess it is an okay Pokemon. I think I would put it higher if it, if it accessed it before, but I feel like it was made a little too late. Uh, then we have the whole Snowfall line, and I'm not, yeah, well, I don't hate it, but I'm not the biggest fan of the Snowfall line, so I guess these are also okay Pokemon. Then we have Weaver, and well, Weaver is actually pretty great. I already like Sneasel a lot, right? and Weaver is definitely also up there. And then Magnezone, which I actually think it is one of the better, better evolutions they made, so Magnezone also. I really like Magnus. So Magnus also uh, belongs into the great section in my opinion. Uh, then we have Licky Licky, and I don't know about Licky Licky. I kind of like Licky Tom, but I feel like Licky Licky didn't really need to exist. So do I hate it? Probably not. So it's probably an okay Pokemon, but I'm not the biggest fan of it, uh, to uh, to say the least. Then we have Hyperior, and I think. Yeah, why don't looks looks better as Vaporeon? To be honest, but it goes a bit a little bit too far to say I hate Vaporeon, but it's an okay Pokemon. And then Tangwords, I don't know. Uh, I guess yeah, I guess all these evolutions here kind of are okay, but yeah, are kind of okay. They're on the first four, but I don't. 
like the battle as the as the second evolution. So I don't think any of these evolutions needed to happen. So, but I don't dislike them either. So they're all just okay in my opinion. But although Token Case is actually is actually a Pokemon I do like. So Token Case was I don't know if it is great, but it is definitely a good Pokemon. Eh? Uh, Yamega, well, Yamega, Yamo was already, I think Yamo is already awesome, and Yamega, uh, yeah, even, even tops that further, I know it looks like, it looks scary, but it doesn't look too much, so Yamega is a great Pokemon, uh, uh and you know, the same goes for Lithium Glacier, and I, I, I like almost every, actually I do like every one of the Eevee lines, so Lithium and Glacier are also great Pokemon. Eh? The Umbreon is actually my favorite, so that's why I'm not put up into the best, but which is also weird because I uh, grew up with Gen 1 and then Umbreon is my favorite of the whole line, but uh, Gliscore, uh, Gliscore is um, Oh, Gliscor is actually pretty great too. Uh, I really like well, Gliscor. And the same goes for Mama's Wine. I think Bill's Wine was, is, well, it's not bad, but it doesn't really look to have eyes. So I feel like Mama's Wine kind of fixed that. So Mama's Wine is also a great Pokemon. Then we have Pokemon Z or Pokemon Z. And I guess it is. I guess it's okay. I like the, I think I like the original and the second version better than Power Con Z, to be honest. Then we have Galate. Well, yeah, it is. It sounds weird, but I'm the biggest fan of the of this line actually. Yeah. So for me, the, uh, I don't hate it, but for me, the are just okay. Yeah. Well, well, and now we finally have found one, find one with, find the Pokemon which is trash, because who even likes this Pokemon? Yeah. The moustache is not even the moustache, it is, but it is literally not trash which is hanging out his big nose, so there is only one place where it belongs and that is the trash section. Uh. Then we have Dusk Noir. I actually really like Dusk Noir. Dusk Noir is a good Pokemon, I feel like. Oh, Frostlass. Frostlass is great. Frostlass is definitely great. Death much better than, 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 uh, than Clearly ever could be. Uh. Then we have Rotom, and I feel like the the, the normal form of Rotom is uh, is also great. I really like this form. Uh. Then we have the Rotom Heat, this Rotom Heat, and Rotom Heat. Well, I uh, guess it's kind. It is an oven, but I feel like this one makes makes sense. So yeah, I like. I really like the. I really. Like, I really like the Heat one. Uh. That, well, let's not even talk about the next word, I don't, um, that would be appropriate. Uh, now the fridge one, which well, I guess, this one looks a little bit derpy, but I don't, I don't think I hate it, so I guess it is, I guess it is good, I guess it is okay, so the fridge ends up in okay. Then we have the fan form, I actually like how happy it is is here and I also think his arms how they were made here made sense. Actually think uh, this is one of the better same as just like the heat one this also belongs into the great section if you like. And then the we have the Meow Meow Rotom which I think is a little bit too much so yeah so yeah I guess uh, it is not I I goes a little bit too far to put them in trash but it is not one of my favorites. Uh, then we have Oxy Mispirit and Oxy, uh, or oh, Azelf, I'm sorry, which I feel like they're all just okay. I feel like they're, uh, no, they are legendaries, but I also feel like they are kind of there, and they're, they're a bit of much of the same. I think if there was only one, I would put them into good, but yeah, we definitely didn't need three and definitely didn't need legendaries like that, that like that. But yeah, it goes a bit too far to say that I hate them, that is not the case. Then we have the Yorga. The Yorga is easily one of the. I think the Yorga is same with. I think Mewtwo is still my favorite, but the Yorga still is is up there with one of the better, with one of the best legendary Pokémon they ever made. They that deserves into into the top list. 
But I think, well, but I don't like Pocky as much as the other, but I really, but I really like it. So, it, so that will also end up into into the grades. They did a good job here, and Heat were and also like. I also, I'm also a big, a big fan of Heatwell, and I don't know why, but yeah, I'm a big fan of Heatwell too, so it is also a great Pokemon, I feel like. Uh, not of Wedge Gigas though, um, I don't know why the Wedge even exists, I don't know why Wedge Gigas exists, they, they didn't need to exist. Uh, it's just trash. Oh, here with Tina, I like, I know many people prefer the other one, but I think the... Old Alter Champion is a little bit more clever. Actually, I think I will put put it like here. But it's also one of my favorite in the Alter form. Uh, and original or Zeratina one. It's not. It is not okay. It's not trash. I guess. But it's, it still looks good though. So. Uh, so I will put it into the good section. Uh, Quisaria, Quisaria. I also like really. I really like Quisaria. So they. I feel like overall Jan Ford did a good job with the legendaries, except for the Blake spells ones. Uh, these were kind of too much, I feel like. Although, I don't know if these are mythicals or legendaries, but I feel like, I don't know which is who, so one is, is better in status the other, I don't know that much, so, but, yeah. Um, they're, they're okay, because they're legendaries, they're not. I think if they were legendaries, I think I forgot about them, so. Uh, I guess that is that. Dark Eye is also one of my favorites. Ooh, and the same goes for uh, sh uh, for both shaman forms. Gen Gen Four really did well with the legendaries. I feel like. Yeah, probably after Gen Well, maybe Gen Four is my favorite with legendaries and Arceus or Arceus. Maybe it's because um, well. Because Legend Arceus will come out in January, but yeah, well, that I think it is a bit optimistic for me to save, put them into the uh, best section, so I will put it into the great section. So there we have it. The whole Pippin line is thing is one of the best. Maybe Carl Hippopotas and then five legendaries uh, or mythicals. I don't know if the last two are mythicals uh, or the last three, because I believe Dark Eye was a mythical. I don't, I'm not sure. But anyway, these end up there, and a lot of legendaries end up in the great section, which, yeah, well, I guess it's decent. Okay, Pokemon are really just okay for me. Actually, I'm surprised. I didn't think that many of Gen 4 will end up in the okay section, but for Catabol, yeah, it's kind of what it is. Bad trash, yeah, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of these Pokemon, eh? especially not who ended up into the... Into the into the trash, I feel like that, yeah, I feel like these Pokemon are just... I, I feel like these Pokemon are just too, just too much, they didn't need, didn't really need to exist, I feel like. So yeah, but uh, overall, if I see my list, I know a lot end up into okay, but also a lot end up into, into great, so I think it is kind of even, so... And with many Pokemon, which I think are the best, I guess my opinion in Gen 4 is, is actually good. So yeah, I think that I, I would say indeed that Gen 4 and Gen, and Gen 4 was a good generation. And I don't, I don't think for me it is up there with Gen 1, but but that's because I just grew up with Gen 1. But I think Gen 4 did a really good job. I I forget what she said about Gen 8. I think it also said good. But Gen 4 is definitely Gen 4 is definitely up there. I feel like so Gen 4 is a good generation. So yeah, that was my list for today on my video for today. So thank you guys for watching, and I hopefully I see you guys next time. So for now, goodbye.